You said right. I knew what I was doing, so I got away from her. Well, right. you you didn't get away from her if by the grace of God she ends up back in your life while she's now of age. You're spending the night at her fucking mom's house. What type of white boy pervert shit are you? What are you talking? What what is the pervert shit about dating somebody once they are legal and of age? The scent. You know what it sounds like, and I'm not saying this is what it is. Uh, it's 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 I, Joe, I didn't I didn't say a word to her for three and a half years. Mean that you know? It's like we just sort of ended up. I think you waiting for the girl. You waited for the girl, Adam. Huh? You waited for the girl. I didn't wait for anything. We just ended up uh, reconnecting later on. How did you reconnect later on? Or the Facebook algorithm put the girl in your bed? You didn't know. You didn't, wait, you, didn't know you didn't know at that point that you probably shouldn't fuck the girl that you were talking to while she was sixteen years old. So because I met her when she was underage, I shouldn't yes. have yes. fucked her when I was yes. over. It. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm saying to you. Well, in retrospect, I wish I had taken that advice. It would have made everything a lot simpler, right? Well, yeah, if you isolate that, right? But then they have the little nasty tweet floating around where you talking about fucking young girls. I had some, I mean, that, that that seems like an exaggeration. I had some some edgy, jokey tweets from like 2008 to 2012 or some shit that, you know, a lot of those are pretty fucking disrespect. I know you, Joe, I know that you remember Twitter back in the day and you know how fucking toxic it was. It was bad. Which is why yeah. I did a scrub of all the bad things that I had to say. But I'm not going to use the word edgy when talking about fucking little girls. I don't think that that's edgy. Well, I think that's probably not 100% accurate. Do you want to quote any particular tweet? I mean, I'm talking to you, so I don't want to pull up the tweet. But you know the tweet exists, and you know it's running around. as attracted as I am to Jennifer Aniston and 10 year old girls come on this one from September 23rd 2010 says so you're saying you wouldn't suck an 11 year old's dick and just for reference and also to be messy Adam was around 26 at the time of both of those in April of that year he tweeted I would almost rather sexually harass than have sex if before I die I can convince a confused teenager to commit suicide I'll die a happy man um okay then some real progression from 2010 to 2011 but Adam says can any and all hot high school students stop following me on Instagram I have enough temptation in my life as is so it's nice to see that he progressed from 11 year olds to high school at least lord have mercy Adam you've got yourself into quite the conundrum this time buddy is it really though? This is the same shit from 2018. You know what's ill about this? This is not the same incident as the one that we spoke about privately, right? What did we talk about privately? That allegation. I don't want to say because... No, I'm this is that. This is that girl. Wait a second, buddy. No fucking way. Yeah, bro. Yo, you are a nut. Wait. <laughs> wait a second so when did she say this so you fucked the girl and then she said this when so I fucked her in 2008 or whatever and then 2018 I signed the deal with Atlantic and that was the first time that I got to find out that she was going to say that I raped her uh, in 2008 so 10 years later this accusation emerged from, from nowhere and yeah but not from nowhere because the universe gave you plenty of times to have nothing to do with this underage girl when she was underage then she then she got older no, she fucked her, she, she I didn't meet her until she was of age let's just make that perfectly yeah, clear yeah, yeah 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 no but you were speaking to her at, i spoke to her once before and you had friends that referred this girl well, see, that's why I thought she was legal is because I knew other guys that had hung out with her at the time. And I thought that it was uh, I thought that that was a good reference. But it turned out. No. You don't hear how that sounds like some kinky social club shit. 
I mean, I know you're not like tuned into the punk world, but I'm not. There's a lot of uh, a lot of people sleeping with the same the same people. I would say, especially at that time. Yeah, well, don't bring punk world w rules over to our good hip hop conversation, buddy. Don't you try it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's probably the same in rap too. That like the same the same chicks end up hanging out with like a lot of the same guys. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph.